Hey class, this is an introduction to the engineering notebook. Now, uh, we use an engineering notebook that has been designed by uh, Project Lead the Way, and it's actually a really, really useful tool whenever you're designing. So the first thing I want to point out is that an engineering notebook is a fully bound uh, notebook. You don't want to add or remove sheets from an engineering notebook because uh, that would show that you are tampering with the notebook. Uh, these are actually used to get patents, which are a business's way of securing their ideas so that they can get paid, basically. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is the bottom section has all the information that you could possibly need in order to identify uh, who owns the notebook, uh, where it comes from. So you'll see designer, it's, that's me, I'm Mr. Rutz. School or company, Haywood is my school and I guess uh, place I work. So uh, course department, we do magic of electrons or design and modeling. Uh, I have to apologize because the marker I used was not very good. And then I went through a series of pens that weren't good as well. So it really did not come out well. Uh, but, you know, you get the point. Start date is when you start working on project. And archive date is when you are completely done using this. So uh, it'll date the entire book. Now, notebook number is if you have a series of notebooks and, and you have a project so large that you need to fill up every single page, you would have multiple notebooks in a series. So that's done. Uh, that's the cover. Second thing you'll notice is the table of contents. Now, the table of contents is a running tally of basically everything you're working on. So as you are collecting, or as you are making notes and writing in the pages, you're going to use the title from each page and the page number, as well as the date, to catalog it. Eventually, you'll find that you have notebooks, I mean, this is not a full one, but you have notebooks with several entries. So here, if I go to page four, I should have notes on switches and diodes. That was completed in July 31st of 2015. So I go to page four, and what do you know? Switches and diodes, and you'll see all my images and, and notes. Uh, so that's actually a good segue. The next section is the page itself. So uh, the page should be mostly filled up with space. Uh, the space should mostly be filled up with writing, and you'll also notice you got graph paper. Uh, it's very wonderful for getting your ideas out. And while using an engineering notebook, you want to use a combination of images and words, but you also want to use pen because you aren't supposed to erase anything. You want to show all the everything you've done, whether or not it's mistakes and you say whoopsie, or uh, if you have successful objects uh, that you've drawn, you keep it all. Um, okay, so we've got text, we have pictures. So when you fully fill up a page, there is a section at the bottom. I'll come on down here so you can read it with me. Uh, you have designed by and witnessed by. So whenever you go for a patent, sometimes there is a, a court. Uh, sometimes people sue each other and companies sue each other for rights. So if that's the case, you can't be the only person to say, oh yeah, I totally did this. Because then it's just what you said versus what somebody else said. So that's why they have this section called witnessed by. You're the designer, so you put your name, you put the date, you finish it. And then you get somebody who has either worked with you or uh, that you've known for a long time. They will autograph it and they'll be your witness. So if ever it did go to court, they could set a test or they could get on your side and say, yes, they totally, uh, Kevin totally did this. And you can, I, I said that he did it July 31st, 15. So um, those are the components of an engineering notebook, really. Uh, once you finish that page, you get it witnessed, and then you would go back to your index, and you just fill it in. Over time, it'll catalog all of your ideas, and you'll be able to submit it when you go for a patent. Last comment I have for my students, 
if you go to the very back of the book, you'll see page 120, and then if you go to the right, you have best practice journal entries. Uh, here, it's going to give you some advice on the best way to come up with your notebook. So, um, here you've got a mixture of images, and here, this is space that they don't want. Uh, this is space that is empty, so they added these lines to show that you knew it was empty. Uh, everything's organized, uh, underlined. It's just, it's very lovely, and I recommend that you review this if ever you're wondering how you should organize yourself, such as, you know, using a date. Just all these basic things to keep yourself organized. Okay.